The most popular and profitable genre in the film industry is horror. There's always been something attractive about being scared that audiences have enjoyed for generations. One of the predecessors to the horror film is the popular pastime of old known as Phantasmagoria. Using a magic lantern, the presenter would project images of skulls, demons, and whatever other scary image they could find onto a wall in a dark room, giving audiences an evening of terror. This frightening phenomenon was akin to the modern horror film. In the 1589 version of Magia Naturalis, Giambattista della Porta described how to scare people with a projected image. A picture of anything that would terrify the beholder should be placed in front of a camera obscura hole with several torches around it. The image should be projected onto a sheet hanging in the middle of a room where spectators wouldn't notice the sheet, but only see the projected image hanging in the air. In 1659, Dutch inventor Christian Huygens, who many credit as inventing the magic lantern, drew several phases of death, removing his skull from his neck and putting it back again, which were sketches meant for a projection using a convex lens and a lamp. This lamp became known as the magic lantern, and the sketches are some of the oldest known documentation of this invention. The last decades of the 18th century saw the rise of the age of romanticism, there was an obsession with the bizarre and the supernatural. This movement had elements of the irrational and included the rise of the Gothic novel. The popular interest in such topics explained the rise and more specifically the success of Phantasmagoria for the generations to come. The Magic Lantern was a good medium to project fantasies as its imagery was not as tangible as another medium. Since demons were believed to be spiritual beings, the Magic Lantern could produce very fitting representations. When magicians started to use the Magic Lantern in shows, some special effects were thought of. French physician and inventor Edemy Gilles Guillot described several techniques in his 1770 book, including the projection of ghosts on smoke, giving the impression of evil spirits residing in the air. Early stop trick films developed by George Malaise most clearly parallel the early forms of phantasmagoria. Trick films include transformations, superimpositions, decapitations, rear projections, and the frequent appearance of ghosts. Modern day horror films often take up many of the techniques and motifs of stop trick films, and Phantasmagoria is said to have survived in this new form. Phantasmagoria's influence on Disney can be found in the countless effects throughout the themed lands and attractions at the theme parks, but are most memorable in the practical and projected effects of the Haunted Mansion in Disney World, Disneyland, Tokyo Disneyland, and Phantom Manor at Disneyland Paris. Although horror itself has had many influences, Phantasmagoria is definitely one of them. What do you think of this practice? Would you go to a show now? Let us know in the comments and we'll see you next week.